when you want to do something as ambitious as actually filming a full virtual reality series on the International Space Station, you're actually embarking onto an ambitious endeavor. My name is Felix Lajeunesse. I'm the creative director and co-founder of Felix and Paul Studios. I'm Jennifer Zabasaja, and this is How I Work. Our possibilities in space today are in part thanks to this historic moment. One priceless moment in the whole history of man. All the people on this earth are truly one. The Apollo landing inspired a generation of dreamers. I just can't tell you how proud we all are. And now as space exploration takes off in the private and public sector, Felix and his team at Felix and Paul Studios are bringing the wonders of space to a new generation via virtual reality. Many, many years ago, uh, when we started, Paul and I, uh, exploring immersive media, even prior to the days that we did virtual reality, we were dreaming of creating immersive experiences that would allow us to bring audiences into the world of space exploration. And we started to present to NASA what we wanted to do next. And for us, that was create a virtual reality experience shot actually in space and uh, be able to take millions of people to space through the immersive power of virtual reality. Doing so was not an easy feat. Not only did we have to meet all of the technical and security requirements, but we also had to design the technology in a way that was smart and user-friendly uh, for um, the end users, which are the astronauts. Because once you're in space, they become your cinematographers, um, and directly they also become co-directors because they need to take the camera themselves and they need to make certain decisions. Um, and they also become your technical crew. In our case, uh, the training process actually all happened from Earth to space. They're very smart people and they tend to memorize pretty, pretty quickly. It's not necessarily the most complicated thing that they had to do in space. From the get-go, uh, we shared with them basically a relatively simple idea that we apply for all of our projects. The camera is a person, and that's generally the way we think about it. When we place a camera in a scene, we're not just trying to find a good angle like a traditional film director would do. We're really trying to find where we could actually place the person inside of this environment. And we actually worked with NASA to do that and look at sort of a 3D model of the space station and identify all possible places where the camera could be rigged on a different walls because you can film in any axis, as you know, there is no gravity. So, you know, even as a filmmaker, you really start to need to think as, a, um, as an astronaut. A study in May found human missions to other planets were a low priority for Americans. Instead, being on asteroid watch was more important. Felix thinks this series might change people's minds. The International Space Station is an international partnership, and it's kind of a microcosm of humanity in a way. And to see all these people working together uh, is, is extremely inspiring. And then the sheer pleasure of just watching humans fly. You know, there's something very uh, profound and powerful about witnessing that, especially through the immersive medium of virtual reality, and, and truly feel like you belong to this mission. You're one of the crew members. It's the closest experience I'll ever have of actually going to space. I think that there's something very universal about this project that's not about language, that's not about culture, that's not about none of these things, it's about everybody.